You're listening to today's inspirational message on the Proverbs with Kurt Bjorklund. Today we turn to Proverbs 21, and we've been, if you've been part of this journey, working our way through Proverbs chapter by chapter, and Proverbs can start to feel repetitive after a while, like you read the same thing or it's the same angle. And so part of what I'm hoping this time does is help us to see some of the uniqueness of each of these chapters. And as we come to Proverbs 21, I want to suggest that it points out several attitudes or perspectives that are destructive in our lives. And I'm using this just to help us understand maybe some of the emphasis of this chapter. So the first one, is seen in uh, chapter 21, verse 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and then a little later in the chapter as well in verses 30 and 31. Here's what we read. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. So it starts with the idea that God is the one who directs all things. And then it says this, every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. So this is pointing to this idea of self-righteousness or autonomy. And H.A. Ironside wrote this. He said, self-righteousness is the most human of all sins. Men will excuse and explain away in themselves what they would severely censure in others. And if you think about it, one of the things that we probably dislike most in other people is when people believe that they alone have the perspective that's right, the truth, that they are good, that other people are bad, that they do right, that other people do wrong. I remember uh, running into a situation some time ago with a person where it didn't involve me, but the person was was arguing with a clerk at a store, and I was in line ready to check out. And the person started to just really go off on this person about all the ways that that they and the store were wrong and how right they were. And and finally, the person left and and I came up to check out and and the the clerk just just said, some people think they know everything. And that is the idea here of every way seems right to a man in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. And then it says this, to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Alan Ross says, religious acts are valueless without righteous living. And what that means is sometimes we even get the perception that we're doing right because we do little religious things. Verse four, haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked are sin. Uh, just talking about the inflated sense of self and what this really ultimately is, is not just a self-righteousness, but a self-determined approach to the world that says, I am in charge of me and nobody else will tell me what to do, including God. And so it becomes a refusal to bow our knee to who God is. And this is destructive because of this, verse 30 and 31. No wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. And the implication of verse 30 and 31 is that if you fight against the Lord, that you will lose. And if you fight without the Lord, you're foolish because victory belongs to the Lord. And what that means is our success is not in our strategy. It's not in our strength. It's not in our sustained effort, but it is the Lord who is directs the king's heart or the outcomes, and he turns things wherever he will. And recognizing this, recognizing God's hand is something that helps us not to live with a self-determined, overly inflated view of ourselves. And what makes an overinflated view of self so difficult to counteract is it's hard to spot in ourselves and so easy to spot in others. So where have you had an overinflated view of yourself lately? Are you willing to ask some honest people close to you to point those areas out to you and humbly bend your knee 
to the God who directs all things. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.